make some self-watering seed starters. First thing you need to do is you need to go to the um, variety store, the grocery store, or whatever, get yourself some two liter pop bottles that have been returned. Um, the store has paid five cents deposit on these things, so we just go in and we just buy them back for five cents each. We haven't had anybody yet who said, didn't want to give them to us. So get these for five cents. Try to get them with lids if you can. If you can't get them with lids, that's fine. All the lid does is it stops the dirt from falling through. So if it doesn't have a lid, you can just put a piece of duct tape on top. You could probably push some, you know, cotton ball in it. Doesn't matter. Like I say, it's just to stop the dirt from falling out. So then uh, I just cut the label off. There we go. The label is cut off. Get that out of here. Next thing I do is I drill a hole in the lid. Drilling is the easiest way. Next thing you want to do is you want to cut the bottle. I usually cut it about, I don't know, a third to a two thirds. Be careful when you're making your cut that you don't let the knife slip. And if it does slip, be careful you don't cut your thumb off because you need your thumb for like, I don't know, for driving, for writing things. Oh, for tying up your shoes, you need your thumb. So, Whatever you do, try not to cut your thumb off. Here we go, got the base, got the top, got a hole in the lid. Next thing you want to do is get your string. String needs to be able to reach into the bottom and then also be able to wrap around in the top a little bit. So, you know, it's about a foot long, maybe 14, 16 inches. You just cut that there with the knife. Then you want to push the string into the into the cap. I got a screwdriver here that I just dropped for that job. There we go. Push that in. Drop the base into there. And then the next thing you want to do is just get some duct tape, like this, duct tape or masking tape. What you just want is something that you can write on. Just get a piece of duct tape like that, cut that like that, put that on there, like that. Oops, I was trying to do it to the camera so I didn't do it very straight. There we go. And then that's pretty much it. Now all we need is some dirt in the top. Some dirt in the top. So we put a little bit of dirt in the top and then we get the string. And then we just wrap the string around in the dirt. More dirt on top of the string. Maybe just a little bit more dirt. And I like to use actual, I don't just use topsoil. I actually use seed starting potting mix, okay? That, uh, I don't know, that's what it's designed for. So it probably does the best job. Then, now you've, there you've got it. All I need to do is just add water. So you just add water here into the base. string goes in the water. Now the string isn't going to wick up any water until the string is wet at the top. So what we're going to do next, and we're not going to do it on, on camera, but we'll put the seeds in. Once the seeds are in, then you need to water the soil the first time and you need to get that string wet. Like I say, the, the string won't start to draw up any water until it's, until it's fully wet. As the string on the top dries out, it'll, it'll pull the water up from the bottom. Okay? So there you have it. That's a, a self uh, self-watering seed starter. Super easy to make, like I say, out of, out of all the projects out there. This is the quickest, the simplest, the cheapest, and it gets, uh, it's, it's just such a handy thing. So what we're going to do now is I'll take you upstairs and we will show you the, um, the seeds that we, we planted uh, two weeks ago. And um, yeah, and you can see how those are doing. All right, so let's go upstairs. And you know what, if you make any, uh, if you make any, any planters yourself, uh, take some pictures, throw them on the Facebook page, let us see what, see what you're up to. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay, so here we are. Here's the, the cabinet that I built in front of the window for uh, the seed starters. As you can see, they're all doing quite well. These have been uh, these seeds were planted just under two weeks ago, 
they're doing great. That's a uh, yellow zucchini there. Those ones there, that's the cauliflower. These big ones over here are squash. Uh, what's this one here? Oh, it's corn. <laughs> Growing corn. Yeah, so any, oh, these ones over here, that's snow peas. So, like I said, we, uh, I made the planters, we, we, we planted the seeds, we watered the soil, made sure that the bases were filled, and then, you know, I think the, the bases need filled about every two weeks. I, I think I filled them yesterday. So, and we didn't really film the first time, so they last a really long time, the water does. So it's just a really good way of, of getting your seeds started. If you've had problems in the past with either overwatering your plants, or if you're like me and you forget to water them, then this just takes away all that headache and it makes it really easy to, to do. So anyway, that's uh, that's our little thing there. I've I just got a bunch more bottles. We're gonna be making more seed starters this weekend and we've got all these seeds over there still to plant and we'll uh, have a good crop this year. So like I said, if you guys have any good pictures of your seed starting solutions, make sure you post them on the Facebook page. I'd love to see them. All right guys, talk to you later.